The Dojo Loach. What is a Dojo Loach? A Dojo Loach is a wonderfully social loach from the streams and ponds throughout Asia. It is also known by the name Weather Loach due to their response to the barometric pressure changes that surround severe weather variations. This will make the loach swim erratically or vertically when a storm approaches. This behavior makes them very popular in the aquarium hobby. This isn't their only desirable feature, however. Compared to another commonly kept loach, the coolie loach, the weather loach is much more social, is active at all times of day, and unlike the coolie loach, doesn't seek constant hiding locations and also doesn't need to be in a group of their own, making a single weather loach an option for people who don't have the tank set up to support a school of coolie loaches. A final point for this loach is that it is considered quite hardy, making it a beginner-friendly option. The Dojo Loach's Lifespan Dojo loaches have a lifespan of between 7 and 10 years and are very tolerant of a wide range of living conditions. Their appearance, they can often be mistaken for eels. They have a slender body and long, small fins. The upper portion of their body is rounded and flattens out toward the tail. Its mouth is downturned and surrounded by barbells. A barrel is on the loach to dig through substrate. They can do this to bury themselves and they can also be used to feel around for food. There is quite a color variation with loaches. They can be grey, brown or olive green. Some feature camouflage spots. A very popular color variation in the hobby is a golden yellow, typically referred to as the golden dojo loach. As for size, the loaches in captivity do not tend to get any larger than 6 inches in length, though some hobbyists have seen them get considerably larger when given the extra room to grow. In the wild, dojo loaches get almost 12 inches long. This is possible in, in aquariums, but the conditions must be perfect. Care. Dojo loaches are considered very beginner friendly. They can live in a variety of water conditions that other fish would find unsuitable. This leads to a problem, however, in that these loaches can inadvertently be abused. Though these loaches can live in a wide variety of water temperatures, they are a cooler water fish. In pet stores, you may notice the dojo loach in tropical waters with many warm water fish. Though this won't directly kill a loach, it can significantly shorten its lifespan. Not only that, you really owe it to your animals a duty to provide an environment as close as possible to their native environment. They have every right to live a life as comfortably as possible. As for tank size, opinions vary slightly, but generally speaking, the absolute minimum tank size should be 55 gallons. However, the dimensions of the tank are important here. You want a tank at least 4 feet long, so there's plenty of swimming room. The larger the better, and if you plan on getting more than one dojo loach, a larger will be required. Water parameters. Because dojo loaches are found in such a wide variety of bodies of water, including streams, ponds, lakes, or even shallow bodies of water across a large area, which is all of Asia, they are tolerant when it comes to water parameters. As mentioned before, they live in much cooler water than other freshwater species. Water temperature ranges from 50 degrees Fahrenheit to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. That is a very huge range, but the sweet spot is between 65 and 75 degrees. pH levels around 6.5 to 8.0 and water hardiness from 5 to 12. Tank setup preferences. A fine sand substrate is preferred. They are bottom feeders and enjoy digging. Coarse gravel can cut or damage, so stick with something soft. They probably aren't picky about the decorations you choose, so you can use whatever you like here. Though a few hiding spaces are a must, as they like to hide when they're threatened or scared. Driftwood or live plants are always an ideal choice. Make sure large objects like driftwood are anchored properly, as they can become uprooted from the loach's digging routine.
As for flow, these loaches prefer a moderate flow, and air stones are an excellent choice of oxidization and a place for them to play. When thinking of your setup, keep in mind that dojo loaches are escape artists. They will jump out of tanks and swim up filter tubes. Make sure you have a plan for these escape routes. Sponges on tubes and possibly tape on lids will help secure your loach. Diseases. Dojo loaches are more susceptible to diseases than other freshwater fish. They have thin, small scales which offer them very little protection. They tend to be the first to show signs of infections. Ick is probably the most common problem they'll face. Dojo loaches must be quarantined immediately as Ick is highly contagious and loaches are highly active. Ick is noticeable by white spots all over the body. Another issue is skinny disease, which is a parasite infection. As the name suggests, the fish will lose weight despite having available nourishment. A parasite, the skinny disease parasite, is much like a tapeworm infection in mammals. Maintaining pristine water conditions, as always, will help prevent these and many other diseases. Diet. Dojo loaches are omnivores and not picky eaters. They will eat almost anything you provide. They will also eat algae. Dried pellets are a great option and sinking pellets are a must as they are bottom feeders and won't always travel to the surface when there are a lot of fish around. Behavior. Dojo loaches are peaceful and choose to hide when threatened. They are also generally quite playful and very social. One unique thing about this fish is that they are friendly with humans. If you provide them good care and they are allowed to become accustomed to you, they will most likely allow you to touch them and feed them by hand. They are active and curious, which can make them dangerous escape artists. They will find tubing to escape through and their thin bodies unfortunately allow them to enter filter systems that are not properly blocked off. They will also jump right out of your tank, so an open tank top is always asking for trouble. One fortunate thing about the dojo loach is that they are able to take advantage of some atmospheric oxygen to live outside of water for a period of time. This is a uh, behavior that they show in the wild and will also be useful if they ever jump out of the tank. This may buy you enough time to reintroduce them to the tank if you can find them on the floor soon enough. Tank mates. Dojo loaches are probably one of the more successful loaches to keep by themselves, but is still not highly recommended. A group of three or more dojo loaches is good as they are very social creatures. Because of this social nature, these loaches also do very well in community tanks. Non-aggressive fish are a must, but with the right tank mates, you'll see playful behavior, including friendly chasing games. For the best setup, it would be in the loach's best interest if you have tank mates who occupy different areas of the tank. The dojo loach is a bottom dweller, so fish that tend to stay towards the surface or middle of the tank is ideal. While there are an extensive list of good community fish, one unique opportunity the dojo loach brings is goldfish, as they are also a colder water fish and not compatible with a lot of other warm water, fresh water fish. Breeding. Dojo loaches are not easy to breed. Most hobbyists don't bother attempting as there are very unique requirements for success. They need months of cold temperatures to mimic seasonal changes in the wild. Also, loaches, these loaches, don't display parental behavior and may eat their eggs should they be able to lay. In conclusion, the dojo loach is a very beautiful and friendly fish. Its friendly nature makes it a joy to have in the tank and its low requirements make it easier than many other types of fish to enjoy. Overall, the Dojo Loach is very easy to recommend. Thank you.